two years in a row. This time with a yes sir. <laughs> you caught that. We're free. Yeah, last year, what happened? I got a little nervous. You had your windshield wipers on and the, and the uh, border agent decided to give you a hard time. So shut down the vehicle, sir. This is a brave man right here. He's driven 1,200 and how many miles? 80. 1,280 miles. I asked him why he do it. I'm sure every one of you is asking why because we don't have it a boat, we don't have a kayak. So we're just gear, just tons of gear. We got tons of fishing gear. Well, we have tons of fishing gear and I like the drive, it's beautiful. I've done it three years in a row and it's kind of a find me time. <laughs> it's an exploration, a uh, expedition of your soul. Really, I just want to test the Titan and see if it would work. Okay, well I tried to go epic, you went mechanical on me. Old Titan, it's got over 200,000 miles on it, still kicking strong. I've been trying to convince him to get another truck. Let us know in the comments. What's he got to go with? Is it going to be a Ford, Tundra? What should he go with? If he was going to get a new truck right now, what's the buzz out there? You got to ask the fishing freaks because they study trucks. I, I they study really, things. So. I really do need their advice on a truck. He's got a 14 foot Hobie kayak. That's the other thing. So, bed's key. <laughs> Schnapps, that's her tra tradition here. Schnapps. The, the lodge owner, he likes some cheap, nasty schnapps that no one else buys except him. There's a little local store and it's he- It's not cheap though. Takes it all, yeah. <laughs> They're taking advantage of the Mir Americans here. Here at the cabin. The cabin me and dad have been staying at for the last three years here. We stay here with uh, the Van Hefty family. They're a father-son team as well, actually father son son team textbook canadian wilderness and that's it possum lodge baby standing next to a giant green evergreen i guess that would be the birch trees behind me the loons in the background it's delicious up here what's not so delicious is this little Oatmeal, flaxseed, blueberry thing I'm eating. Oh, it's tree approved. Currently, I'm just getting my first sips of coffee of the morning. Me and Dad are gonna go get after it today. We've got tons of tackle. Way too much for four or five days of fishing. But I'm excited to fish some new rods I have not fished yet. I'm gonna show you guys those. Of course, we have the old familiar. LFG series. That's in there for mainly throwing moving baits for smallmouth and then some pike. But are you excited, Dad? Absolutely. It was a long drive up here, but worth it to fish with you. <sighs> That's awfully kind of you to say. You did drive a a long, long ways to be here. The grass here is so nice, so green and luscious. I'm gonna go ahead and link the other videos from from up here that I've done in the past. The smallmouth fishing challenge with my dad was one of my favorite videos we've ever done. It's time to just go have fun with dad. It's Father's Day week. We're gonna go and soak that up. So let's get out of the water. Let's enjoy some fish. I can't wait to smell a big brown smolly. She didn't recommend this, by the way. This is something I bought and I ran it by her. It's good. It'll get it done in a pinch. Rainy Lake Lodge, this is uh, Birch Point. Area. Hey, where are we hey. running? What? I don't I don't really know. Let's take a look at the lake, y'all. Come on down and check this out. Gosh, day. Beautiful. I live in a tree house. I got trees all around me. It still does not compare to this. The amount of undergrowth and nature that grows up from all areas is incredible. It's like gosh dang avatar out here. For example, I don't even know what these are. Up through the birches. Look at the colors in that birch. It's astounding. It's like being on a golf course or something, except it's it's right by the lake. It's the yard. And you ever see those like log cabin type homes or anything like that? They have those beautiful stones and stuff on them. This is what that is, except it's around the whole lake. Check that out. Good Lord did a good job when he was building this place, y'all. Smallmouth, pike, walleye, that's what everybody comes up here 
for is the walleye. You wouldn't think there'd be much grass in here, but there's grass everywhere. You can see some reeds right here. There's little lily pads, there's laid over grass, pond weeds, all in the shallows. And you know what? You would not think there'd be any mosquitoes or bugs up here because it's so cold. But let me tell you, it's swampy like Louisiana up here, just a little milder. And there's skaters everywhere. And there seems to be a lot of fishermen this year. I think this lake got voted like one of the best smallmouth fisheries in North America. LFD, I know you're excited. I am, I'm pumped, man. He's a good guy. Little Dale, Dale's a good guy. This year's a new game. We've got an actual boat. It's a dinghy with a 60 horse. Dinghy. And I think it's got a trolling motor, right? The fishing might be so good you don't need a trolling motor up here. Hey, Dale. Yeah? Does the, the boat have a trolling motor? Yeah. All right. We're in business. Is that supposed to be a half rack deer or was that full at some point? I love all these old red barns down here. Those ain't no high powered skaters out there, y'all. This is the land of the Luns. There's our vessel. Ready for blast off. Dale has hooked us up with his, his personal vessel. It's a guide boat. One of the other boats was down. So it looks like we're getting the big unit today, boys. So I have some new rods I'm gonna use but I'm not gonna say a word about them until I use them. Put a little green turd on it. The, the smallmouth just love the green turds up here. You're gonna be, you're gonna be seeing and hearing that a lot in this video, I, I, I'm assuming. Dad, are you ready to put some green turds on and get I'm some ready. bronze back? Goodness. When you rub your hands together like that, that usually means something. That usually means it's about to be on. Give it a try. Give it a go? Give it a go, yeah. Oh yeah, she's in, she's in neutral there, okay? Yeah, eh, eh. Oh, he's a burner. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, boys, put your harnesses on. Oh, my gosh, I do see a skeeter over here. There she blows amongst all the luns. There's the unicorn. Yeah, that's for another video. Don't show them that yet. yet. We're going to do an ultra light challenge. What's your name? Um, Landon Lenny. Landon from Minnesota. Yep. Up here rocking that Make Every Cast Couch shirt. I spotted you from up the hill. I, yeah. like, I know that shirt. I know those guys. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Great pitch. Give them a sniff when you catch them. You got the mallard behind the boat there, eh? You got my coffee? Met some fishing freaks this morning? Just feel right at home in Canada. I'm good to go. Well, should we just go right here and catch them or what? Right there? Remember? Remember when we caught them right there? Yeah. yeah. I say we go right here. I say we show off a little bit and catch them right by the ramp. Like, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, it's on. Kind of like this windy bank. Think you could operate that trolling motor? I don't know about me. Man. Play like a champion. Make every cast count. Play like a champion. You gotta check things when you're in the outdoors. Something needs to be checked right now, and it's called the trolling motor apparatus. Go for it, man. Yeah? It's working? Yep. Okay, you ready to fish? Got a fishing lure. There's only one thing left to do, and that's give it a dangle. LFD's running the trolling motor for the first time in 18 years. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's good. I love it. Look at these big old pelicans. Daggum. First piece of grass has been caught. Nailed it. I'm gonna get myself a tubule. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I like this rig. Can't wait to jack one in the face. 20 pound braid. Gotta wrangle that bull in. Let go. I think I had one there. Got him. Yep, I do have him. He was up there, then he came back. You tagged it again. Feels so good on this rod. Oh man. The brown ones, they do exist. Just a little guy. Look at that. Ah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. First one of the trip, Dad. Yeah, nice. What a beautiful trip. I think it deserves a sniff. Gosh, they are thick and feisty though. Gotta love them. Got to love them, baby. Oh, that is sweet. 
The ice has been broken. Yeah. That one was up there in the shallows. On that tube, guys, I got these from Winston's store, his old store. He had a bunch of stuff in. You got one too? I do. Oh, yeah. Dad's hooked. It's on. <laughs> that's a little better one there. Oh, that's a good one. LFD, he's, he's, he's on the tur game. Trolling motor and catching a fish at the same time. That's a good fish. That's fun. Oh, it is a nice fish. It's beautiful. Yes! There you go. Don't forget about that troll motor now. That's a better fish. That's yes. how we break the ice up here in Canada. Here, you want me to get this fish for you? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Look at that dandy. Yeah, let me sniff it. Give it a sniff. Ah. You know what's crazy? Look how tiny that mouth is. And look how big the body is. That's just insane. Love you. That fish was a little beat up, so I'm going to go ahead and say that they have done a little spawning already. I'm proud of you, Dad. You're doing good things. Boat control is an important part of bass fishing. Yeah, and I'm not very good at it. You're not good at it, but I'm giving you a chance to wear myself out. understand and learn. So right back there, there was a sandy spot. That's, that's why it was a like a little pea gravel sandy transition that we're spawning fish back there. Oh, there's no one there. Oh, he smoked it. That might be a pike. Nope, it's a smolly. Oh, it's a pike, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a pike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go, boys. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need the boga grips for this guy. Oh, how did I not break off? That is. A... I know. It's like last year when I had that Mondo. Oh, gosh, those things. Oh, they'll rip you apart. Woo! Hee hee! Well, I kind of like this little unit here. You didn't get my line. Look at those teeth. My gosh. Just don't, don't chomp down on me, sir. Uh, woo! I'll tell you what, they stink. They stink so bad. Okay. Here's what I like about these boger grips. You just do that right there. Happy days. Happy days, boys. First smallmouth, first pike has been, has been caught. God, I love this place. Yeah, I know, it's great. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I'm telling you what, this, this jackhammer rod, fantastic. It's made for this right here. I think this is the medium. Yeah, seven foot medium. Super, super sensitive and light. The reel as well. This is the 2000 size reel and I put 20 pound braid on it and I got it's 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Little green turds, they love them. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I had him. There's our boys. We're hunging rocks though. Did you get yours? Yeah. I still haven't got mine. I need a little need a little navigational help here, oh, Pops. Well, where is it? It's over here. Time to go to another hole. Our friends are here. Okay, it's fired up. Let's go to another fishing hole. What do you say there, Pops? Let's do it. It's a good unit, the 60 horse Yami. All right, y'all, the first fish has been caught. We're feeling good. It's time to go to another area. I think we're gonna actually head a long ways. This is gonna be a long trek. Some place I've never been to on this lake, but uh, hopefully it has some more pea gravel like we just had back there. That's why those smallmouth were, were sitting there. Yeah, we already caught some. Got the first slimer knocked out. You want to hop in with them, Dad? I guess. We'll run with the platform. LFD is going to exit the vessel. It's going to be better for everybody. All right, last time I did uh, it, you know what happened. <laughs> it's a windy day. This is a tiny boat. They've got a real nice boat with a 250 on it. So he's going to get in there. They're going to run faster. I'm going to run faster. We'll get there eventually. Water is 66 degrees Fahrenheit, in case you're wondering. All right. Oh, I mean, Big Ted just pulled you in there like a pro. Oh, yeah. Made it easy on you. He's like a dancer. He just tiptoed in. This is going to be a rough ride, though. All their stuff's going to be scattered a boot. It's not like a bass boat. And quite honestly, it's pretty cold out on this lake. You feel the coolness coming off the water. Okay. Now that we're in here, ah, 
Well, I tell you guys, this is hard to film and do all this stuff at the same time. Go ahead and hit the like button. We're gonna get on plane now. Here we go. <laughs> That is a perfect walleye, ooh baby. Oh, Smalley, look at him go, gosh. That is a nice one. Mm, God, look at that rod work. It's so good. Yahtzee, come here. So angry. Oh, he's not a giant, but he just, Dabbled it hard. Love these fish, man. Absolutely love them. Perfect splash back in. Back to back, walleye, smallies. I love this place. Uh -huh. The tube is performing right here. Yeah. Got him, nope. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is how we're going to end the video, baby. Good, good day. Oh, what a digger. What a digger. Nice tank. Oh, shoot. He just spit out a whole perch. All right, sweet baby. We'll see you again on another episode one day. Be a nice five pounder one day. See ya. How can you love it anymore? It's so good up here. I've never been to any of the cities, but out on the lake, out on this lake, Rainy Lake, it is pristine. It almost looks like the trees and everything in the background is being color corrected, but it's not. It's like you just turn the contrast up in life up here. It's awesome. This is our first day in the smallmouth fishing is hot already. It's like we just left off from where we were last year, running the same patterns, new areas, but same patterns. And this is absolutely my new favorite smallmouth rig for fishing the tubes, for fishing the net rig, uh, other little finesse stuff. This is perfect for up here. Last year I had a few spinning rods. I was kind of limited to what I brought. I didn't bring really high-end stuff either because I was in a kayak. I didn't want to damage any of my stuff, even though an airline broke it, broke a lot of my rods the year before. I'm in love with this Jackhammer series from Favorite. I'm gonna leave the link down below where you guys can check it out. I'm using the reel and rod combo. This is the seven foot medium, super sensitive. Detecting the bite is phenomenal. Balance is great and the reel is good too. It's a, it's a 2000 size reel. I put 20 pound braid on there with 10 pound fluoro. And there's my tube, a one eighth ounce. KVD striking, jig head, and uh, and that tube right there. So it is about to blow away out here, y'all. Literally, the camera is about to blow over, and I am going to see you on the next episode, and it's going to be a little bit calmer. But until then, me and Dad are going to do a little bit more fishing. I'm going to catch another one on this sweet new combo that I love so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one.